we are still like a minute away from the scheduled start but still Sorry, we can you have to unmute yourself so, sir you have to unmute yourself sir sir you need to unmute yourself sir. okay i am audible right. now yes sir uh, whether our resource person has joined yes sir he has Okay, so Sibel, uh, Doctor Orpita Monal, Pachala Mahavidyalaya, he has also she has also joined. Exactly. And okay, I think you just wait for two minutes because time given is eleven thirty. Some people may be uh, joining, but they are waiting for that time. Alright, so we'll okay. start at eleven thirty sharp. Then. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you are. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. So I hope all of you are doing well in this pandemic situation. Yes, ma'am. Thank yeah. you. So how are you, madam? Yes, I am fine, but there is a bit of tension. It's developing and increasing day by day. I think. Trying to cope up and, with uh, it. Yes. What I see from the containment list, your Pachla, a lot of places in Pachla, they are included yes, in containment. Yes, Pachla list. and Uluberia has been sealed. There's a lot of issues in uh, Uluberia. One doctor has uh, uh, died, and uh, about oh ten physicians God. are uh, positive. They have tested positive. So it's a difficult situation. Really. Yes. Hope we will be well. We will be overcome this situation. Yes, yes, we are hoping, and all, all the best to all of us. Actually, we need to overcome it now. Our resource person, Doctor Partho Vatacharya, has joined. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Okay. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. And so it's a nice I find here forty-nine participants have joined. Sorry, sorry, sir. It's a it's a it's a nine opportunity for to us to get all these people online on board. Right, right. Yeah, what can I what this can is, we do? Because this is a pandemic situation. We can't go outside. We can't do the in-person seminars and conferences. Apart from that, it was a wonderful experience because uh, if you see people in person, then it is uh, it is I think it's a bit better opportunity. But what can I do? You have to do this kind of good, kind of new normal that we have to follow right now. Right, right, right. right yeah. But this is also a positive aspect of this pandemic situation that we are going, uh, getting in touch with many people, if not physically, if not physically, but yes, through these uh, knowledge sharing platforms, we are being able to communicate to each other also. So this is also boosting us uh, to some extent. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. And moreover, yes, we can moreover, we can reach to uh, people from Western countries, Eastern countries, from foreign lands uh, virtually, yes. obviously. Yes. So we don't have to go the place, go to the places, and uh, waste our money. Uh, right, so right. it's a beautiful opportunity that we can come across so many people. I think yes. who has who is I mean someone is presenting. Yeah, okay. exactly. We will yes. we'll sort this out. Sneha no Ghosh is presenting. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, so it's eleven thirty. So with all your permission, maybe yeah, 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 we can we can start now. Right. And right. I see uh, about sixty participants already have joined. Exactly. So we can start. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, so shall we start? Welcome. Yes, yes, ma'am. We yeah. are starting for yeah. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and a very good morning to all of you. Urashkanpur Hridashpundi Mahavidyalay, Department of English, under the aegis of the IQSC. And in association with the Academic Council, welcomes you to celebrations, the online lecture series. On its third day, we have the honor of hosting Dr. Partho Bhattacharjo, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Amity University, Patna. Uh, Dr. Bhattacharjo has already joined in, so welcome to him formally once again. I, I now request uh, our principal, Dr. Chandran Kumar Jana, Jana, who also happens to be the chief patron of celebrations. To extend the formal welcome address for the team. Over to you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Saranna Sen. And as you all know, our Department of English 
uh, actually started this fantastic wave lecture series and our professor saranna sen he is also iqc coordinator and it is his actually master plan i just encouraged him and he has been lucky to have a good colleague like devanjan said with him and thank you all and all at the same time i am i am also very lucky to have some principals like dr orpita mondal as a collaborator with our college he she is from she is from principal of pachla mahavidyalaya and we have also another five principal five colleges who are collaborating with us and i like to thank you all and first i welcome dr patto chatterjee patna sorry patto bhattacharya amity university patna campus for his uh, consent and now present online to deliver a very interesting lecture of today uh, com uh, tintin and particularly uh, tintin in tibet uh, what i remember uh, thank you dr partha bhattacharya uh, what we are discussing few minutes back the actually crisis pandemic crisis it it has forced us to be at home to some extent but to uh, one means all the civilization human civilization are quarantined now and that's a challenge when we are going out of this situation but at the same time as i believe half glass water is not really half empty there is something in chemical sense that is the vapor is there and to me what i want to convey to my students that it's an opportunity we have to find it out and i am very thankful to our department iqac and also our uh, academic council uh, they are always in a very good team work and all are participating and cooperating with our coordinator for organizing this type of web lecture series and in this crisis period i Uh, took it as a very good opportunity like partho bhattacharya we also had two lectures from two eminent uh, academics and in english and later on also we are having another three persons and this type of people they are very busy with their institution with their job and always it is it was not really feasible to get them in our institution and to have their lecture uh, and get the opportunity to listen to their lectures and we in this period crisis period now see how all of we are we can see we can we can uh, exchange our ideas and opinion and in this way now today this meeting i see about 72 uh, participants already have participated actually matter of fact the our puraskanpur horidas nandi mahavidyalaya is situated in a very remote place and before this lockdown our head of the department of english sharana sen she he was trying as a iqc coordinator he was trying to get so many people in the college but sometime you know it is depends on the schedule of that particular person whom he was thinking to bring for a for a lecture and now after this covid pandemic period and during this period we took this opportunity and we are very lucky and thankful to uh, professor partho bhattacharya and other resource person who have who are uh, very kind enough and they are very generous to uh, give some idea some opinion about the uh, some topics which are included in our uh, undergraduate courses and also uh, as i heard some topics are also little advanced level no problem because i see lot of teachers also there a uh, lot of scholars also participating in this web series and uh, as we discuss with our uh, coordinator and uh, head of the department let it be free for all and let some people whoever attending this uh, program this series they can get something at least they can exchange the idea with this uh, very good resource persons and with this uh, few words i like to welcome first of all Dr. Partho Chatterjee 
and other participants from different colleges from this not only from the state outside of the state and dear students i see so many students of our college they have also participated particularly i can say them these this is the program for them only they have in our college our syllabus their syllabus have been uh, already completed now they are sitting at home some students they are really eager our english department and some department are very advanced and they were looking for this type of lectures from eminent personalities who are actually scholars in their particular field and i think they will be benefited they will, they will enjoy this lecture and at the same time i see nilanjan chakraborty iqc coordinator pachla mahavidyala he has also joined i welcome him also and welcome him other principal and other teachers whom i don't know i cannot uh, see from in this uh, lecture a uh, screen but maybe they are present because i see now about 90 participants already have joined so all are waiting for a lecture from dr partho bhattacharya about the comics teen teen and what i can say about the things uh, i did not know until and unless our coordinator told me that uh, yes sir it is included in the uh, graduate undergraduate syllabus because in the you know childhood we read uh, teen teen and batul the great like, don't take honte like that we read that at any bengali but it is as we know it is a very good english Uh, cartoon is uh, cartoon, and uh, I I learn little from the, our um, head, but actually he is the right person. He is waiting for us, uh, Dr. Patu Patu Acharya, and thank you for your concern and you are going to deliver this lecture. And before uh, he start, I like to request our one of the collaborators, Dr. Upita Mandal, Principal of Panchmula uh, Panchla Mahavidyalay, to say few words about this. And thank you all. Uh, you please uh, unmute, Doctor uh, Mona. Uh, you have to unmute you, yourself. Unmute, please. You, you need. Uh, yeah. Am now, I audible? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now it is okay. Thank you, Doctor Chandan Jana. Uh, I feel really very happy to be sharing this platform with uh, so many. Uh, uh, Learner and uh, distinguished uh, people, it's a very happy time for us uh, because be in this pandemic situation, all of us are going through more or less a little bit of stress in our lives about the uncertainty that is around. So, uh, comics and Tintin, uh, with this name, it uh, brings us some sort of relaxation, some sort of smile in uh, uh, ourselves. so i'm looking i was looking forward to this day when we could share this platform and uh, i'm looking forward to what dr partho bhattacharya ji has to share with us uh, i wish you all the best and i hope we'll be having a very uh, enjoyable uh, session and uh, it's really uh, i'm looking forward to the different aspects of tin tin as we people uh, we uh, have read tintin we have the experiences of films and the comics that we had uh, read and uh, uh, experienced but yes uh, i'm sure uh, dr bhattacharya will be uh, showing us some different aspects on this uh, very very enjoyable and famous and uh, uh, our favorite cartoon character so let's proceed and i would like to uh, hand over to dr patu bhattacharya so uh, it's a happy listening for us thank you ma'am for your kind words um, allow me to formally introduce patu bhattacharya once uh, right. dr patu bhattacharya uh, assistant professor institute of english studies and research amity university patna is a young academician who has rightfully chosen the relatively young field of comic studies as his research area an mphil from burwan university and phd from indian institute of technology patna dr bhattacharya has a wide range of publications from dalit discourse to film studies he has published in journals of repute such as nosis iup journal of english studies journal of graphic novels and comics recently he has co-authored a monograph on bengali dalit discourse which has been published in rutledge handbook of translation and activism so congratulations parth on that an avid comics critic 
Dr. Bhattacharju has traveled both the banks of the Atlantic with his research interest. Arthur, we are proud and honored to have you. Without further ado, may I now request you to take us to the magical and highly polemic world of Tintin. And just one more request to all the participants, please put your mic and camera off and please do not present yourself. The presentation button is only for the speaker and he would be doing all the necessary presentations through PPT and everything. So kindly refrain from using the uh, presentation button. You can post your questions in the chat box and we'll be providing the feedback form later uh, through in the course of the lecture in the chat box itself. Thank you and happy listening. Thank you, Sharunoda. Uh, I am very much thankful to Dr. Chandan Kumar Jana, Principal Sir, uh, Shubankar Chakroti Sir, Academic Counselor Convener, Sharunno Singh, obviously our Sharunoda, and Devanjan also, and uh, Orkita Ma'am too. So I am very much thankful. Good morning, all of you. So in my presentation, I will be talking on Tintin in Tibet. That is, I think, included in your syllabus and that has been included in popular culture altogether, right? So, before I start uh, talking about the Tintin, and I, I should say two things. One is that uh, Tintin in Tibet, we say Tintin, right? We, we, we usually see the uh, the spelling of Tintin as T-I-N-T-I-N, -T but uh, in English it is pronounced as Tintin, but uh, since Tintin uh, the Adventures of Tintin is written actually in French or the other uh, languages. The actual French pronunciation is Tata, Tata au Tibet, Tibet. Sorry, Tata au Tibet. That is Tintin in Tibet. That is how we pronounce it in English. Number two, yes, uh, all the persons are saying that we have come across Tintin uh, as our childhood comics books, right? But uh, sometimes we have to uh, see Tintin and the other adventures of Tintin uh, under the light of some literary aspects. And since you all are in graduate graduation period and uh, this is included in the gra graduation syllabus, undergraduate syllabus, so we have to read Tintin from many aspects, right? So that is how we start, and uh, it's written by, or better to say, illustrated by Hanje. So I'm just presenting some of my slides so that uh, we can understand a window. Is it uh, showing? No, part I'm afraid it is not. Is not. Uh, it's not showing, now. No, okay. Not yet. Okay. Just one moment. Sure. Just, just give me one minute, huh? I think there are some issues. Just a sec, I'll request Devanjan to, I, I think you, yes, there is a technical glitch and we're trying to get back part two as fast as we can. I think he's back. Part two, Arthur, you're not audible, so you have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Is it showing? I think so. 
Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, Sornoda, can you confirm that uh, is it full screen? Yeah, it is full screen. Full screen. Full right. Okay, okay. 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 Thank you. So uh, the topic is comics, comic studies, and thinking into it. I am Pastor Vatsachi, and I am the reason. This thing. So the brief outline of this lecture is that what is comics, uh, right? And what is comic studies? Uh, is it new? And the last one is the thinking into it. The first one. What is comics? Uh, let me introduce you. What is comics? Because we all know that that is uh, sorry. Thinking is comics. So what is comics? Comics is a narrative with uh, intertwined text and images, and it's a journey from text and images to image text. I have it uh, italicized the word image text. That's a, that there's a reason that I will come later. On. If you if you remember that uh, whenever you read any comic, any any any, any novel that contains a text point, right? All these things are text, text only. From left side page to the right side page, everything is text. But in comics, you will get text and image both. Less text, more of image, right? So, what does the text do here? The text is actually supplementing the expressions of those images. The text is actually helping you to get the meaning of the images. Sometimes a comic. Uh, 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 doesn't have any text without the text. We call that without the words in the uh, comics. So the text and the images are intertwined and mixed, and therefore produce a uh, platform that is called image text. It's a uh, term that has been coined by the University of Florida Department of English. They are using the word and they have. Named the named their journal with these words, the image text. Next is what are the elements in a comic? So that you get there are there is speech bubbles, there are panels, there are gutters, there are sound effects, cartooning, and there are so many things. I will come to that later on the slides. Comics. Now you say that it's comic, and there is a s after that. Whether it is singular or plural, yeah. Comics. There is a both the singular noun, both the plural noun, because singular when we referring to the medium itself, and it is plural when referring to the words of comics collectively. Uh, if you if you if you come across a comics theorist, his name is Scott McCloud. He has written a book that is named as Understanding Comics. It is published in 1993-94. It has been translated in various uh, languages, and in that book, page number seven, you will find that he has mentioned that comics is a singular noun. It's a part of the popular culture and appealing to the mass, consuming, primarily catering to children. So initially, when we say comics, it means that we 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 create a kind of background in our mind that uh, it's it's meant for the children only. But no, comics. We use the word comics as medium when we read some graphic narratives, a voluminous graphic narratives, uh, almost around uh, 120 pages to 500 pages. People draw, yes, people draw that those things and put the words into that so that you can understand what is going to talk you. Now, another thing is that is there a difference between comics and graphic novel? Yes, there is a difference because graphic novel. Like epistolary novel, like gothic novel, like uh, this novel, that novel. There are so many forms of novels, right? So people, the publishers, the publishing companies, better to say, they try to find out a term in which term they can sell their books, in which term, uh, in which term they can put their book in that particular cell, right? So it is the graphic novel. They term like that. But the researchers of the graph comics and the practitioners of comics, they don't like the term graphic novel because Hilary Studd in 2008 she says that it's a business centric term. Once you say that it's a graphic novel, people will be excited and they will buy and put the book in the cell. 
that is why they turn the word graphic novel but generally we the researchers the practitioner we call it as graphic narrative or better to say comics just use the word comics that's it simple there are several namings of this graphic uh, 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 i mean narratives or the uh, comics is so a well known and popular forms the european comics is called the comic alba a uh, franco belgium uh, comics is called bon dzini a uh, japanese comics is called the manga so since i talked about the elements in comics as bubbles panels gutter sound effects cartoon etc so this is where you can find out the terms in comics that you must follow you must follow while reading the comics you must follow these terms yeah we know that these are the these are the things these are the you know expressions we get uh, into comics but we need to know what are they called and why they are uh, uh, there in such a way it's a panel it's a gutter it's a speech bubble it's a caption sound effects short bubble etc etc there are so many there's so only i just took the uh, important ones what is a panel the panel where the canvas is actually floating before your eyes what is a gutter the gutter you can check the arrow here you can check the arrow here the the gap between these two panels this is panel this is panel this is panel now the gap between these two panels this is called gutter and it has a it has so many connotations uh, uh, as, uh, as as a literary form as a, or as a literary term in comics there are so many references there are so many uh, i mean ex explanation of gutter and uh, this is thought bubble you can find out that there are one bubble two bubble then a big bubble in which there are so many words written down it means that the character is thinking but not speaking this thing to someone this is called thought balloon okay or thought bubble you can say thought bubble thought balloon both of these things are right it is the sound effect why i am introducing sound effect or what is sound effect because in tintin in tibet or tata au tibet you will find so many sound effects so many sound effects right and this is dialogue balloon that means one a is talking to b b is talking to a in which they are putting some kind of uh, you know uh, oval shape and a kind of angle so this is called dialogue balloon or speech bubble right so these are the terms basic terms what uh, which you must know uh, while you answer some questions that uh, any there is the importance of the sound effects yeah sometimes you will never find any words from the narrator or the speaker who is speaking to the audience or who is speaking to the other person you will find some kind of uh, you know uh, sound effect like thrashing like uh, falling down so they will not write down they will just show you some expressions and why comics is very much interesting just because uh, it has more expression than of words it has more images than of words it has less words but you have to you, you think that uh, once uh, you read one page it, it it takes around one minute or two minutes maximum but no it it takes more minutes it takes more time from you because you have to understand the usage of the images and how the images are set together how the images are, uh, images are appropriated in the panel right in the sorry in the frame right so what is comic studies then uh, is it a new comic studies is a field of academic research focused on comics and sequential art i am coming what is sequential art including comic books comic strips cartoons graphic narratives animation digital media and film so what is sequential art sequential art means once i go back to the previous slide you will find that the all the incidents are sequentially set together all the things are sequentially set together and once you read the comics you have to understand while reading comics you have to understand that you have to go in a way like z from left to right then downside left then downside right 
z you know if you if you remember the letter z it's like that your eye should go like z from left to the right then uh, to the left corner then to the right side it's it's like that so in this way the sequence is created in comics and you have to understand that it is called the sequential art there are so many things i am not going to the details comic studies can include the theory history philosophy aesthetics or cultural relevance of comics as well as the industry production marketing and collection of comics or comic art and comic studies may draw on scholarship from a broad range of disciplines including history literary studies media and communication studies art and art history sociology linguistics philosophy business and marketing library social science or legal studies and particularly in regard to the first amendment and censorship issues so there are so many things that are inclu included in comics and people are reading comics from the perspective of these literary phenomena so that is why i am putting a comic studies what is comic studies there are two things the one we the literary literature persons we analyze comics from the perspective of literary theories like postmodernism postcolonialism uh, feminism uh, uh, there are so many things collages ah there are so many things and from another perspective is called that the comics practitioners those who are doing that comics from which perspective because there are there are there is a there is a upsurge in comic studies the upsurge of the auto bar which perspective they are illustrating which perspective they are drawing so there is another lens to it from once the literary theory is the other is the comics okay so tata autobe uh, is written or illustrated by harji what is the original name george prosper ring is a belgian cartoonist and uh, he has done a beautiful work in the adventures of comics there are several books 24 books i guess if i'm not wrong that 24 books and uh, it has a uh, a beautiful pictures i i tell you two things here why belgian why i'm putting the uh, emphasis on belgian cartoons because uh, in european comics if you see there are two forms of art one is called marcinelli school of art another is called the ligne claire form of school l i g n e i will come to the later on l i g n e c l a i r e ligne is not line it's not ligne it's ligne the g should be pronounced little bit of h ligne claire or clay if you pronounce it english it is claire r sound is pronounced if you pronounce it french it is claire not h little bit of h claire like that so there are two schools one is that line claire and as there is a marcinelli school of art now line claire means what is that l i g n e uh, i am going to the next slide uh, later on i will come to the come to this i am coming oh my god or is little on okay what is uh, uh, what is that line clay line clay means clear line technology and george's win actually had the idea of using all these things all together for his team and there is a history in all he, he he had done all these things for another book that is called the adventures of toto uh, so where he used to portray all these things in a wood cut pencil and brush form and black and white forms right later on uh, it is colored and bernard uh, holman's crypto jewelers gave harje a book sur su la piste de beth in 1955 inscribing on the inside that suggestion that one day Tintin should meet the Yeti in Tintin in Tibet. I am talking about Tintin in Tibet. 
So what is the Adventures of Tintin? It is a series of 24 comic albums. Better to say comic albums here because it was serialized later on. It is 1929 to 1976. And it is illustrated Belgian cartoonist George's Prostonomy under the nom de plume Harje. And it is a milestone in Franco Belgian comics. It is published in. Uh, sorry, when it is translated in of more than 200 billion copies, and it has been adapted in TV series, radios, and films. What are the topics th this Adventures of Teaching has? Uh, uh, I mean, the city covered. This is a human affair and. Who are the characters in Tintin? You all know Tintin and Sony, his dog, Captain Haddock, who has who is speaking like billions of billions of dupe disturbing through our particles. Always speaking the same words. <laughs> Professor Calculus, left side, the green one. Captain Haddock, the blue one. Bianca, Bianca Castafuri, the top right side, grey one, and Thompson and Thompson, the detectives, the black ones. Arts and techniques uh, in Tintin Tibet, or better say Tintin series. The signature style of Line Clay, clearer line style that I just talked about. I will show you the examples how. And the second one is very important clear and expressive. Now, it, why clear? Because it's very much clear if you if I show you the pages of Tintin in Tibet, you see that there are, this is a Purely clear style and ex why expressive. Uh, you find that there are so many, abs there are so many uh, taken work and there are so many expressions which shows that there is some astonishment, right? You find the Chang, right? And uh, if you if you see this line, you know, there is only one word, the Chang. And there are two symbols or the signs, and we come to know that there is some situation. So this is where the expression is actually underlined. If I show show you the, another word, zwing, splash. So these are all these things which express more. See, there there is a beautiful illustration. There are beautiful comics pages. There are beautiful colors, color codings, etc. And there is a little bit of words, it sees everything. If I go another another uh, 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 page from the last page, which is the last page from each it, you will find that it's the, it's the you just see the, the, the expression of the EAP, how it has been drawn, how it has been drawn, how the how how the sadness or uh, you know how the aparting from this kind of expression has been portrayed by uh, RJ. How the color coding, how the paleness of the background uh, is shown here. Color is an important uh, factor in comics. Once you get the warm colors, like the deep colors, you say that like deep color, like that. Once you get that, you feel something positive. Once you get the pale colors, like the washed out colors, the watery washed out colors, you will find that there are some kind of remorse, there is some kind of sadness. Right. If I tell you the story of the Tintin in Tibet, it's nothing but Tintin hears a person that that has been crashed in the Himalayan plateau and Tintin is coming to New Delhi, then going to Nepal, then from there going to Tibet to find his friend Chang. And uh, he found her friend Chang, but Chang, yes, Chang met with an accident, uh, airplane crash, and then he was uh, rescued by a uh, Yeti, and the Yeti helped him to get some food to get back to the life. And then Chang went ahead uh, with the, all these uh, with the, with them actually with this Tintin and uh, other guys 
and EAP is very much sad. This is how, and there are there are so many other things also there. I will talk about later on. So this is what the story is all about. You know, uh, why clear line technique is very important in uh, Hodge's Tinti. In the clear line level, Hodge saw too much attention for the outside aspect of his work. In strip making, he considered his narrative technique and compositional hierarchy equally important to his style of drawing. It took me 20 years to understand that the story is more important than art. It has been included in the biography and written by the independent Hajj biographer Wee Van Opsal. So Hajji Hajji gave importance to the drawing and an equal importance to the story also. What are the themes in Tintin in Tibet? When we we are young, we are child and we read Tintin in Tibet, but it's not that from the perspective of a literature person. Since we are doing this undergraduate course in English, we need to know that there is something that that should be entertained, that should be encouraged to show. What is that? First, first is that the friendship. So we know that Tintin and Snowy are friends together, and here Hardja has shown so many dimensions of friendship. One, Tintin and Snowy. Second, Yeti and Chang. Third, Tintin and Chang. So this is the kind of dimension of the triangular friendship that we're gonna see. The extra sensory perception. Uh, I will take that later on, but before that I'm stuck. I'm I'm showing you that just see this page, see this panel. This panel, the third panel horizontal, sorry, vertical. The third panel vertical, left side. I see three men, no, two men, and a young boy with a great heart. See, there are so many ellipses. Ellipses means that he is getting the perception, perception from his mind. I see three men, dot, 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 ellipses. That means halt. Then he is thinking once again that no, two men and a young boy with a great heart dot 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 then and a little dog white as powder snow that's why he's called snowy they are in mortal danger great heart is walking 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 he is at the end of the string great heart falls yo whoa and so there are so many expressions there are so many you know clear expressions that tells the story that what is going to happen and what is happening there so this is the extra sensory perception that has been entertained in thinking in tibet why it has been entertained that i will talk in later on and tibetan buddhism and mysticism uh, this is how the Tintin in Tibet is concerned. <laughs> now, if you're talking about that, how Tintin has been created, if you see, if you have the Tintin in Tibet uh, with you, it's a PDF format you will get from anywhere. So, see how it has been created. This is the original poster, original picture, and this has been illustrated. It is the original picture. It has been illustrated. It is the original picture. It has been illustrated, and you'll find this uh, uh, this 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 format in a book, Tintin Companion. It's a it's a beautiful book. It has been covering. Uh, it is covering all the Tintin uh, series, uh, you know, comics and its illustrations and other things. So this is how the first one is the Tibetan Mons Monastery. It has been mentioned in the page number forty three. Hajj made particular use of the work of Alexander. David Nail here, a photograph behind the monast uh, his monastery. Tintin, Snowy, and Haddock in front of the Grand Abbot 
and the peak picture from Harji's files. And the Kathmandu as seen by Harji and by National Geographic magazine. Once again, you will find that the Himalayan porters photographed by the Harji files. See the left side, you will find that the original picture is like that. And later on, Harji illustrated that thing. Right side and left side, once again, you will find that how Tintin in Tibet, uh, how this picture has been taken and illustrated and it has been included. Uh, uh, if you remember the one uh, th that uh, where Tintin has met with an accident, there is a broken aeroplane and it, it was initially written as Air India. Then Air India, mm, it was sometimes back that Air India actually gave some complaint that it should not be included in that. Then they changed the flight uh, airways at Sari Airways. This is this is how the you know uh, the lamas and their musical instruments. This is a picture and how Tin how Harji has taken that picture into his mind and illustrated in that way. So this uh, there is a once again coming to the post-colonial gaze in Tinti in Tibet. Now what is what is post-colonial? If you can, if if uh, if you can understand what is post-colonial, it's a colonial post means the themes, the things which are uh, prolonged after post-colonial and gaze. Here, gaze is a very heavy term. Very heavy term because gaze means you look at some someone. It's looking at. You see at someone, you see it, you gaze, that means you have something in your mind while seeing it. You have some kind of astonishment, you have some kind of the element of taking a bark in your mind while seeing, right? Now think about thinking in Tibet, who is hard? Who is hard? Mm -hmm. He is a Franco-Belgian artist, sorry, Belgian art cartoonist. So he is portraying the India, Nepal, Tibet. So how does he do that? He is actually gazing from the west to the east via the character Tintin. Okay, so Tintin is a representative of the Western world and an epitome of humanitarian values. Okay, so what is the what is the representative of the Western world? Means he is coming from the West. I will show you the picture how it has been mentioned in the uh, book. He is coming from a country which is actually in West, and we know that how the colonizers actually gazed in India, in China, in Nepal, and why? Because they say that there is a mysticism in the South Asian part. The mysticism, if you read Passes to India, you will find that very well. You know, what is the kind of mysticism in Indian territory? Right in Nepal, in Buddhism, in Tibetan culture, and Tintin is a representative of that world, and he is coming to see, and he is actually exchanging the ideologies, the philosophies, and coming across this kind of South Asian philosophies and the cultures. But it redefines the relationship between the Western world and the non-western other why i have put the word uh, put the word letter o in capital just because uh, in post colonial concept there is a concept of self and other why because the western world thinks that they are the superior we are the inferior that is why they colonized us and put us in a frame that we are inferior right uh, 
that is that, that's another reason that is a different context altogether if you if you if you discuss on what is the post colonial othering that means we the westerns are the superior in front of the world and the west non western like the easterns or the other parts like south africa australia all these places are their colonized countries and they think that they are other they are other i will show you the comics nurtures an appeal of towards the foregrounding of the otherness and there is also a concept of the reversal of the otherness what is the reversal of the otherness if you say that we the self and thinking you are an mm. other that's called the reversal of this otherness and the exploring the non western other and the domesticating and imbibing imbibing the otherness of tibet nepal and the himalayan foothills if you see this picture this is from the tibet why when uh, uh sorry this is from the tintin -tin tibet and when tintin -tin and uh tintin -tin and captain haddock visit the place it says left side third panel vertically welcome o oh, travelers to the monastery of phobion but i thought there were three of you they say our friend is still asleep grand abo he was completely exhausted and it says they in the uh, uh, the tibetan says that yes it seems that you mean look at the word you mean from other lands the reversal of the other you mean from other lands means the tibet is our land we worship the land and we are the self here whereas it is the other from other lands you and it seems that you men from other lands have a strange uncontrollable desire to climb the highest mountains at all cost even at the risk of your lives why is this so it 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 do it talks about the exploration of the south asian mysticism the south asian philosophy the south asian uh, secret things so tin tin is actually uh, going to find captain uh, sorry uh, chang his friend who is a survivor in a plane crash at the same time the buddhist monastery thinks that Tintin is coming from the western part of the world, the western other countries, other lands, to explore, to 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 find out not only his friend Chang, but also to explore the Tibetan monastery and the mysticism. So it's kind of it's kind of Tintin Tintin's journey from the western world to the eastern part of the world to the South Asian part. to tibet via india and obviously he he landed on india new delhi and is a kind of exploration not only of the not uh, sorry uh, uh, the finding not only of his friend chang but the exploration of the other values and that is why it says that why you have the uncontrollable desire to climb on the mountains at the at the at the risk of your lives what jin jin said that in our case grand about it's not the search of for search for glory not a love of climbing the brings us here our aim was uh, i beg your pardon but has anyone got a shoe horn so it is uh, where the uh, captain had access an anthropocentric framework between animal and human being that is between the relationship between the yeti and chang the human qualities are attributed upon yeti now after if if you can remember uh, if i can show you the um, this thing <laughs> yeah sharan uh, the can you please can you please tell me that if the page of the comics is shared or not uh it's actually the first page itself that's showing right now 
the very introductory page which reads comics, comic studies, and Tintin in Tibet. Okay. With your name okay. and designation. Actually, right. seeing the um, slideshows of okay. first page, not the comics. Okay. 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 Fine. 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 Let me just do something. Uh, stop presenting. Then enter screen. Is it? Is it now showing? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Let me let me do one. Okay. Now. I think it is. Uh, still buffering. I think the page so. is is not yet visible. Yes, I guess. The plate is showing, yes. Yes, yes. yes. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. If you see this, uh, so let us come to the comics first. And uh, until unless you see the comics, you can't understand. Uh, so this is the plane crash site and uh, where, where Tintin is thinking about. And uh, if I go to this page, you will find that how uh, these are the pages that I, I, I just showed right now. And if you go to the, if I go to this page where this is the Buddhist monastery and these are people talking about that how this thing. And if I go to this page where the Yeti is actually, where Chang is actually uh, telling that how the Yeti help. Yes. See this page from the left side top corner. The Yeti, I can see it. It's just come out behind a rock over there. And there is a small, uh, uh, you know, that Tintin is seeing with a binocular and he is seeing a figure or the shadow of a Yeti. It's going, it's disappeared. This is it. Neo, uh, uh, now is our chance. Come on, Captain, not a moment to lose. What can we do? So these are the things where they are going to find what a Yeti is. Then they find Chang, uh, see the right side, Chang, my poor Chang, Tintin. So they are, they, they got who, I mean, uh, where Tintin, uh, sorry, where Chang was saved or rescued by the Yeti. And you can see the last panel, the page, page number 56, the last panel, the top right, uh, sorry, the, uh, the downside, right side. Uh, and uh, where you can see the two legs of, or the leg and the hand of Yeti. And here, ha, here they see that wh where the Yeti is actually uh, rescued and how they, how the Yeti is actually feeling a kind of threat from Tinti. And uh, Captain Haddock is here, just upside down. And here Tintin, sorry, here Chang is telling that Chang tells that how he was rescued by the Yeti. How a kind of relationship between the Yeti and Chang grew up. This is where, this is, is kind of one, one of the characteristics of the South Asian, you can say the South Asian uh, the mystic, mystic cultures. He says, Chang says, the top uh, top right corner, the third panel. Sometimes he brought me little animals. It was revolting, but I forced myself to eat them. Little by little, I regained my strength until I could stand. Then I had the idea of carving my name on a rock. Yes, uh, so, Okay. Yes, we found the cave, Chang, and saw the stone with your name on it. Then later, we found your scarf. Oh yes, my scarf. I will tell you about that. One morning, the Yeti came rushing back. He seemed very frightened. He picked me up and ran off with me in his arms. Till now, the Yeti is not actually harming Chang. Then began that dizzy climb with a sheer, sheer glee. I was terrified, but he was amazingly sure footed, holding on with only one hand. They leaped from rock to rock like a camel. He stopped for a moment, then I saw what was happening. Far away, a column of me was 
heading for the Rikid uh, aircraft and the Yeti was carrying me away from them. So the Yeti is actually rescue, rescued Chang from the clutches of we don't know is it the only sheer plane accident or the sheer human race. I screamed and yelled to attract their attention but my voice was too weak. Then I did my, uh, sorry, then I undid my scarf and threw it over the edge, hoping someone would see it and follow our tracks. That's just what we did, Chang. But what then? Then the Yeti carried me on. Another storm blew up. I was frozen. I don't know how long that fantastic journey lasted. Look at the word fantastic. That means Chang is actually enjoying the company of Yeti. I was only half conscious. All I know is I ended up in the cave where you found shaking with fever and exhaustion. I was utterly dejected. No one would find me. But he had the idea that no one would find me. I, I am going to die. I would die there alone, miserably far from the family and friends. And here, here the EAP is the, the bottom bottom panel, the bottom right panel, like the, the third panel, bottom right panel. I would die there alone, miserably far from my family and friends. And look at how the Yeti is watching them. Captain uh, Haddock, Tintin and Chang. Then they go on, they go on getting uh, some, some kind of jokes by the uh, Captain Haddock and all these things. And where the important thing is that these are the things that the carrying that I, I, I just shown right now. And this page is very, very uh, sad which is where the Yeti is uh, seeing that how Chang has been taken away from them. It's kind of human and animal relationship. We don't know whether Yeti is actually uh, 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 exists or not. And uh, it's very much, it's kind of mystic concern that the Yeti, sorry, just one minute. Let me show you this thing. Yeah. Uh, Shornada, uh, is the slide is showing? If I'm not wrong. Yes, it is showing. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So it's kind of human and uh, uh, animal. This kind of relationship is there. And how the post, sorry, how the Western world sees this kind of human values in Yeti. This has been, this is the very important thing and how the western people sees the mystery of the South Asian culture. The Yeti is given a subjective position without a word at the end of the narrative where the animal is endowed with pathos and sentiment. You, you see the last page where the, the I mean, the, the, the field of view is from the from the backside of the yeti, and it shows the sentiments. It shows the affinity. It shows the affection of the yeti. The yeti could have killed uh, Chang, but he didn't. He didn't. And if you talk about the western part of the world and they are, uh, you know, keys to the eastern world. Uh, it could have been negative if the Yeti killed Tintin and uh, Chang both, or maybe Chang only. The Yeti could have killed the Chang, then it could be a negative representation. And sometimes it is a good representation, it is a beautiful representation. Uh, the relationship between the human being and the animal, right? And we don't know whether Yeti is actually this or not, but yeah employing all these pathos, sentiments and uh, humanly qualities, all these things, the attributions, all these things are there in Yeti. And you can find that in every possible uh, 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 pictures or illustrations <laughs> of Yeti. Now, 
otherless lies in the appearance of the monks of the Tibetan monastery, the main priests and the shapers of the Nepal. And uh, 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 there is another otherness. There is another otherness that uh, that 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 should be entertained. If I'm not wrong, you know how selfing and othering was constructed, right? Self means the western part of the world is the self, and the eastern part of the world is the other. Another form of othering is there here. What is that? Uh, the, uh, while talking about the selfing and othering, we are talking about the superior, inferior, and all these things. That we are superior, we are inferior. We are copying the western part. We are copying their culture. We support the our culture. Yes, that is the one. But there is another otherness is there. What is that? That the otherness is in the animal, while the selfing is in the human being. We uh, we encroach the world. Sometimes we, we 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 have taken the spaces of the animal world for our sake only, and putting the animals as the other, putting them in the margins. Here, Harji has in experimented with such a concept, with such a beautiful space that we must not consider animal as the other of the world, other under the sun, while we should include them with us. While if the world is for us, it's a world for them as well. If we have the sentiments, if we have the uh, 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 pathos, we have the sadness, we, we have had the happiness, we have every possible emotions, expressions, and everything. They have they too. I'm uh, sorry, they have that too. The animals have that too, but maybe in a different language, maybe in different uh, expressions. See, uh, Chang was in a uh, plane crash in Tibet, but who tried to rescue? The Yeti. The Yeti went here. The Yeti uh, is the subjective position there. He is holding the frames. He is, he is the prime member in the frame. He is rescuing Chang. He is actually uh, putting the life of Chang back to him. He has given him so many foods. He has given him the animals, the dead animals. He doesn't know that what kind of food we take. But he has given them. We offer food when we see someone is in a miserable condition. Right. So the Yeti is also giving the food. And this is how the Western people is seeing the Eastern animal. They are seeing the Eastern imaginary animal even in our frame. That's the important thing. Thank you. I think it's a shorter one. Thank you, Parthu, for this absolutely engaging session. Um, it was an engrossing lecture. And uh, I think I completed within 45 50 minutes. Of course, of course, of course, yeah. you did. Of course, you did. No problem. At all. The time had never been of a constraint with you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we could very well understand and appreciate the effort that you have put in, in preparing the presentation. It was a thorough, exhaustive one. I was wondering if you could share this presentation if it is possible for you with our students someday, because I mean, the very presentation would.